so in this video we will see how we can uh, send an email using email templates most of the times the emails are sent using email templates because uh, you know uh, in emails it's not it's always required to manually write down the body content to ma start from scratch right so if you create a template then it will be easier to uh, send which saves time right so here i have created a email template you can create email templates by going to advanced settings in uh, power apps and uh, choosing email templates and create the create the email template uh, and here i have used dynamic content uh, to specify the contact first name and some images also displayed here right now let me close this so you need once the email template is created you need this id the last id uh, the record id of the email template because uh, in power automate this id is required and here i have taken a instant trigger instant flow which will be uh, in, initiated through a button click next i am retrieving the contact record to which i want to send email using this email template I have given I have taken get a row by ID step or action step by passing the row ID. Then I am retrieving the template entity whose ID is this because I told you this is the template ID. Once it is created, it generates a template ID. So this is the template ID. You can copy from browser this one, the 32 bit uh, digit. Then I am using a perform an unbound action for Dataverse connector and I have chosen an action name called a send email from template. The send email from template requires three parameters. One is template ID which is nothing but the email template record ID and that has been used from dynamically from this step template record step regarding is the contact record against which I am creating this in, uh, email activity. So contact slash contact record dynamically and here the JSON object is required which is nothing about the uh, two party from party and two party from which email address you are sending an email and to which email address you are sending an email. So you can mention like this party ID underscore the entity logical name and then after that you have to mention the um, uh, set name of the entity then inside that you have to pass the owner information or the persons uh, or the um, record uh, from which the email will be sent so i have dynamically used owner field from the uh, contact record and next is contact record as because i want to send to a contact so i have mentioned contact is logical name party id then contact set name and i have passed the contact id dynamically which is extracted from this step get a row by id okay, so you can use the dynamic content panel to assign the dynamic values right now once it is done now you can test it right let's say i want to test it now i can test here click on test i can click on manually save and test and once you test this this is something wrong here let me refresh this so i have already tested this if you check my last run or you can check the details you will see the uh, steps are completed successfully and here also you can see for the contact record uh, the email is sent through the template right the images is there and the dynamic content is there also right so you can leverage the unbound action for dataverse connector for sending emails using email templates I hope you understand. For any question, you can reach me. Thanks.